Hello, friends. Good morning and welcome. Happy Earth Day. I'm so glad you're here getting to do some songs with me today. And friends, every day we take care of the earth. But today is an extra special day for us to remember that we are all connected. So the plants and the water, people, bugs, all of us live here on earth. This is our home. And so we wanna make sure that we take care of it and that it's healthy. So that's important for all of us. We want it to be healthy for everyone. And so I'm excited to spend today with you. We'll do some fun songs. And then at the very end, I'll read a book and we can talk about some more ways that we can help take care of the earth. Hello, friends. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. Hello, friends. Glad you're here. Glad you're here this morning. Glad you're here this Earth Day. <laughs> and let's say hi to me, Miss Katie. You can give me a wave or smile, whatever you like. Hello, Miss Katie. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. Hello, Miss Katie. Glad you're here. Glad you're here this morning. Hello to me and hello to all of you and all of the places that you are joining from. Well, today by me, it is raining a little bit. I wonder what the weather is like by you. Is it raining? Is it snowing? Is it sunny, cloudy? We'll sing good morning, dear earth. Put our arms in a big circle to be the big round world. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear trees. And the flowers, everyone. Good morning to the bees and the birds in the trees. Good morning to you, and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. Let's do it again. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear trees and the flowers, everyone. Good morning to the bees and the birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Yay, friends, good morning. There are so many other things that we could also sing good morning to that are outside. Can you think of something else? <laughs> there is so much in nature. Let's sing the itsy bitsy spider. That's another thing we can find in nature. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. It made it all the way up to the top. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. 
Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. <laughs> Maybe you see some spiders outside or some ants or other little things that are crawling, moving around, going different places. And when we see those, we can stop and take a look and we can ask some questions and wonder where they're going, what they're doing, how they like to spend their time. <laughs> and that's what this song is about. So however you want to join with this song, you can dance around. If you have an instrument by you, you can play it. Sometimes we see a thing that might be new. Maybe they're on the ground or flying next to you. You don't know much about them. You don't know what to do. The way that they move is different to you. Well, if you feel afraid, take a breath and wait. Let's stop and look and wonder what could be. Maybe they're just going home or getting food, you see. Let's stop and look and wonder what could be. What's their life like when they're living free? What's their life like when they're living free? Sometimes we see a thing that we don't know. We can just take a pause and choose to say hello. And if you feel afraid, take a breath and wait. Let's stop and look and wonder what could be. Maybe they're just going home or getting food, you see. Let's stop and look and wonder what could be. What's their life like when they're living free? What's their life like when they're living free? We don't hurt things because we're scared. This is a world that we all share. We don't hurt things because we're scared. This is a world that we all share. We don't hurt things just because they're new or different to you. Oh, let's stop and look and wonder what could be. Maybe they're just going home or getting food, you see. Let's stop and look and wonder what could be. What's their life like when they're living free? What's their life like when they're living free? It can be fun to ask those questions and to use our imagination and to learn more. You can always learn more with your grown up, with your teacher. We're going to do a song about two little butterflies. So I'm going to use two fingers like this. Two little butterflies sitting on a shoe, one named Jay. One named Blue, fly away, Jay, fly away, Blue, come back, Jay, come back, Blue. Two little butterflies sitting on a cloud, one named Soft, one named Loud, <laughs> fly away, Soft. Fly away loud, come back soft, come back loud. 
two little butterflies sitting on a stick. One named Slow. One named Quick. Whoop. <laughs> Fly away slow. Fly away quick. Come back slow. Come back quick. That one was very fast. Two little butterflies flying in the sky. One named low, low. One named high. Fly away low. Fly away high. Come back low. Come back high. They can fly up, 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 and away. My favorite ones are the slow and quick one. Should we try that part one more time? Two little butterflies sitting on a stick. One named Slow. One named Quick. <laughs> Fly away slow. Fly away quick. <laughs> Come back slow. Come back quick. So speedy fast, huh? <laughs> and they can fly away. Let's say goodbye, butterflies. Goodbye, butterflies. Sometimes we see small things alive in nature like butterflies and bugs. Sometimes we see bigger animals. We're gonna do a song where we pretend to be some different animals. We'll start with an elephant. What does an elephant say? <laughs> and when they walk around, are they quiet or are they loud? They're loud when they stomp, 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 stomp. Can you stomp around like an elephant? Can you stomp, stomp, stomp like an elephant? Can you stomp, stomp, stomp like an elephant? Can you stomp, stomp, stomp? Can you stomp, stomp, stomp? Can you stomp around like an elephant? Stomp, stomp, stomp. Okay, let's be birds. Can you flap your wings like a bird? Tweet, tweet. Can you flap your wings like a bird? Can you flap your wings? Can you flap your wings? Can you flap your wings like a bird? Tweet, 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 tweet. Can you swim like a fish? Can you swim like a fish can you swim swim can you swim swim can you swim like a fish blub 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 oh. <laughs> is that the sound a fish makes <laughs> okay show me how you can be a bunny a bunny rabbit can you ha 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 like a bunny can you hop, hop, like a bunny? Can you hop, hop, hop? Can you hop, hop, hop? Can you hop around like a bunny? Hop, hop, <laughs> Okay, let's think about an animal that moves very slowly. Oh, I have an idea of one that's green and moves very, very slow. A turtle? Can you crawl like a turtle? Can you crawl like a turtle? 
Can you crawl? Crawl, can you crawl? Crawl, can you crawl? Like a turtle. Let's go faster. Can you run like a cheetah? Can you run like a cheetah? Can you run? Run, can you run? Run, can you run around like a cheetah? Whoa. Oh, they are so fast. Okay, slow down. Let's go back underwater. Can you chomp like a shark? Chomp, 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 chomp like a shark. Chomp, chomp. Can you chomp, chomp? Can you chomp, chomp? Can you chomp like a shark? Okay, let's hear you do a, a big shark chomp. Ready? Chomp, 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 chomp. Oh, chomp, chomp, chomp. Oh. <laughs> Okay, let's do a little bit more. What if we pretend to be a dog? And the dog can walk around and bark. Can you walk like a dog? Woof, woof, woof. Can you walk like a dog? Can you walk, walk? Can you walk, walk? Can you walk like a dog? Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> All right, we got to be so many different animals. <laughs> I want us to do a very fun song about bees. And bees are very important. Oh, can you make the sound of a bee? <laughs> Let's close up our hand, or you can watch mine, to make a beehive. Here is the beehive. But where are all the bees? Hidden away where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. They fly all around <gasps> where there's some buzzing bees by you. <clears throat> Let's look for another one. Oh, I found another beehive. Did you? Here is the beehive. But where are all the bees? Hidden away where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's a lot of bees. Let, let them fly up, 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 and away. Okay, goodbye bees. Maybe they're going to find some flowers, some pollen. We'll do a song about some flowers. I'll use a scarf for this one, but you don't need to. You can just use your hand. We'll plant a seed. Can you plant a seed into your hand? A little seed for me to sow. A little soil to make it grow. A little sun, a little shower, a little weight, and then a, a flower. Beautiful flower. Mm. Let's do that again. This is a poem by Mabel Watts, and we get to sing it, which is so fun. A little seed for me to sow, a little soil to make it grow, 
A little sun, a little shower, a little wait, and then a, a flower. Good morning, flower. Do you have a beautiful big flower by you? Mm, what color is your flower? You can use your imagination too. Okay, goodbye flower. Flowers need the rain or some water to help it grow. Water is very important. We're gonna do a song about some rain. We'll tap in our lap for this one to make some little raindrops. Little raindrops falling down, falling down, falling down. Little raindrops falling down, falling to the ground. Now there's some bigger raindrops. Clap, clap. Bigger raindrops falling down, falling down, falling down. Bigger raindrops falling down, falling to the ground. Even bigger ones, there are some giant raindrops. Let's stomp or make some big sound for the biggest raindrops. Giant raindrops falling down, falling down, falling down. Giant raindrops falling down, falling to the ground. Little raindrops falling down, falling down, falling down. Little raindrops falling down, falling to the ground. Bigger raindrops falling down, falling down, falling down. Bigger raindrops falling down, falling to the ground. Giant raindrops. Giant raindrops falling down, falling down, falling down. Giant raindrops falling down, falling to the ground. Oh, lots of rain coming down, 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 down. Rain is so important. Water is so important. It's important for the plants outside. It's important for us too. We need to drink water. And water in the ocean also helps us to have clean air. It helps to clean the air, trees and the ocean. So it's very important for a lot of reasons. And I wanna share a book with you here. It's called, We Are, we Are Water Protectors. And this book is by Carol Lindstrom and the pictures are by Michaela Goad. And I got this book from my library but I think I'm gonna buy it soon because I really like it. Maybe you can find it in your library too, if you like it. And I wanna spend some time reading this story today with you. Water is the first medicine, Nokomis told me. Look at all that water. We come from water. It nourished us inside our mother's body as it nourishes us here on Mother Earth. Water is sacred, she said. We stand with our songs and our drums. We are still here. The river's rhythm runs through my veins, runs through my people's veins. Look, her hair has lily pads and fish, flowers. Here's the river coming through her hair in the picture. My people talk of a black snake that will destroy the land. Hmm, there's the black snake. Spoil the water, poison plants and animals, wreck everything in its path. Hmm. 
When my people first spoke of the black snake, they foretold that it wouldn't come for many, many years. Now the black snake is here. Its venom burns the land, courses through the water, making it unfit to drink. Can't drink this water then. Take courage. Can you say that? Take courage. It's like saying, be brave. Take courage. I must keep the black snake away from my village's water. I must rally my people together. Hmm, how do you think she's feeling? Hmm, she's got her fist in the air. She's going, 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 thinking about all the water and how important it is. To stand for the water, to stand for the land, to stand as one against the black snake. They're holding hands, working together. We stand with our songs and our drums. We are still here. It will not be easy. We fight for those who cannot fight for themselves. The winged ones, the crawling ones. Here's a hummingbird, a grasshopper. What else do you see? A moth, a butterfly. The four-legged, the two-legged, the plants, trees, rivers, lakes. The earth, the earth. We are all related. Tears like waterfalls stream down, tracks down my face, tracks down my people's faces. Water has its own spirit, Nokomis told me. Water is alive. Water remembers our ancestors who came before us, she said. We stand with our songs and our drums. We are still here. We are stewards of the earth. Our spirits have not been broken. We are water protectors. We stand. The black snake is in for the fight of its life. Mm. They seem very brave, working together. And in this picture, there are a lot of people together. And many of these are indigenous peoples. Indigenous peoples were the first people to ever live on this land. And they had kids and their kids grew up and had kids, and their kids grew up and had kids. And so there are many indigenous peoples who still live here today. So I wonder if you know the names of the indigenous people who first lived where you are. For me in Chicago, I know that where I am, the first people who lived here were from the Potawatomi, Kickapoo, and Peoria groups, those tribes. And so it's very important for me to think about them while I'm here on their land. And indigenous peoples have worked very, very hard to take care of the earth and to tell other people that it's so important 
for us to be taking care of the earth too. So whether your family is indigenous or not, we are all invited to work together to make sure that the earth is healthy and that we take care of it and we take care of each other. We're gonna do one more song about that. We can tap in our lap, tap like this. You can repeat the words after me. We want what's right, we want what's right. We want what's fair, we want what's fair. And when it's hard, when it's hard, we show we care, we show we care. We want peace, we want peace and justice too, and justice too for all the earth, for all the earth, for me and you, for me and you. Let's do it one more time. We want what's right. We want what's right. We want what's fair. We want what's fair. And when it's hard, when it's hard, we show we care. We show we care. We want peace. We want peace and justice too. And justice too for all the earth for all the earth, for me and you, for me and you. So there are so many ways that we can help to take care of the earth. I bet you have some great ideas for how we can help. I know when I was talking to my class yesterday, I had some friends say that we can clean up after ourselves, clean up, when there's a mess outside, we can turn off the lights. When we're not home or when we're not in that room, we can turn off the water when we're not using it. We can be kind to plants and animals when we're outside. There are many ways. Can you think of another way that we can take care of the earth? And when we see that there's a big problem, like how in this story, they saw that there was this big snake that was hurting the land and making the water not good to drink. People came together to say, that's not okay. and We need to make a change. And so for us too, when we see that there's a big problem, we see that if there are groups that are, are doing things that hurt the earth or hurt people, then we say that's not okay, right? We can work together. We can write letters to people in charge. We can tell grown-ups. So there are so many ways, big and small, that we can help to take care of the earth. Let's do one last song. The more we get together as our goodbye song. Thanks for spending this Earth Day with me. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. And this earth is all of our home. So we work so hard to take care of it and also to enjoy it. So I hope that you get a chance to go outside and enjoy the earth today. Thanks so much friends for being here with me and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your earth day. I'll give a big wave goodbye. Bye friends. <laughs>